Earlier this week, it was discovered that the feds raided the office of Trump's friend Elliot Broidy over the summer. This was a secret until documents leaked through ProPublica. This is a huge blow to Trump and for the Republican National Committee. The big news here is that the feds have kept this raid a secret all this time. This suggests the evidence they found during it has been used in the ongoing investigation to bring down other targets. Broidy's willingness to keep the raid secret shows he's cooperating or at the very least he has something to hide. The report from ProPublica revealed that the feds targeted Broidy over allegations of money laundering and lobbying for Trump. The feds can use Broidy's crime to get to Trump and his administration. They have had about nine months to use the evidence before others found out they had it, that's a big advantage. Elliot Broidy also has his own personal scandals. He paid his mistress $1.6 million to have an abortion and remain silent about their affair. It's also suspected that Donald Trump was actually the man who impregnated the woman and Broidy just helped cover up the story, but there's no proof of that to support it. The raid has probably uncovered the truth one way or another. Let's not forget that Broidy was the deputy finance chairman for the Republican National Committee. He only lost this role once his scandals began surfacing. The financial records and emails seized in the raid could very well connect the RNC to the Trump campaign and the White House. So while we may not know exactly what they uncovered in the raid, we know it was something important and has many potential ramifications.